Is there um, a big difference between like the whole process of, of uh, and, and session of uh, MDMA assisted therapy or and uh, ketamine assisted therapy? Yeah, there's there's definitely a lot of overlap. Um, uh, but MDMA sessions are generally going to be spread out longer. Um, can't remember off the top of my head. I think it's at least a month between sessions um, that, where they're actually taking MDMA. Uh, and a lot of that is how the drug actually works. Um, there's there's problems with, with um, increasing frequency beyond that. Um, with ketamine, you can, you can do pretty frequent, um, oh, there we go. Yeah, um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, ketamine, you can use a lot more frequently. Um, you can even, uh, do weekly sessions, um, wow. uh, weekly session. We can even incorporate doing, uh, uh, lozenges for at home sessions, which I'll get into that more later. Um, but I guess when you're looking at a comparison, um, uh, MDMA, like a common term used for it, is an empathogen. Um, so pretty much that it opens opens our our uh, empathy, um, which which therapeutically is is really helpful. Um, so uh, with ketamine, when you do lower dosages of it, um, uh, so like we would use four lozenges, or, or there's some practitioners that will do injections but um but at very low dosages uh it does a similar thing where you feel you feel more connected to yourself and to others um and, and are able to access um sort of the compassionate loving centers of the brain rather than than more the fear and anxiety centers which those those pathways are um you could say mutually exclusive when when someone's more more operating from a fear place, it's really difficult to access uh, compassion. Uh, so this is this is what you run into a lot in in traditional therapy, and I, and I have myself um, clients dealing with more severe PTSD. Um, it often takes years to build the level of trust um, to where they can really get into stuff at the level they need to. Um, and that's because whenever you start getting into kind of their, their trauma narrative, um, you're getting into it, uh, with, with the emotions of fear and, and in that kind of hyper aroused state, um, and to, to build a level of trust for them to do that, um, and actually get through it, um, is typically from what I've seen can, can, can be in the range of like two to three years of weekly therapy. Um, with, with ketamine, with MDMA, um, you're looking more at like a handful of sessions. It's, it's important to build that initial trust, but once they kind of get an idea, yeah, this is someone who has my best interests, you know, they're, they're pretty tuned into where I'm at. Um, then you can move into, to administering the, the medicine and you go right into these, um, these more kind of empathy centers. Um, so with, yeah, with ketamine at lower dosages, it, it, it can be used pretty similarly to, to MDMA.